The colossal Tapia Natural Gas Pipeline Initiative in Afghanistan marks a pivotal moment, positioning the nation as an economic bridge between Central and South Asian countries upon its completion. Recognized as Afghanistan's most advantageous project, TAPI Turkmenistan Afghanistan Pakistan India originated from the Turk gas pipeline concept in Central Asia. Its origins trace back to the 1990s when international oil companies engaged in Kazakhstan and Turkmenistan sought alternative routes for oil export navigating around Iran and Russia due to the latter's pipeline network refusal. The project began with the signing the treaty between Turkmenistan and Pakistan in March 1995. This project was first started through the promotion of the Argentinian Uno company. But the American company Cal, along with the Saudi oil company Delta, proposed an alternative project. Then in October 1995, Uno, Cal and Delta signed a separate agreement with the president of Turkmenistan. Then in 1996, Central Asia Gas Pipeline Consortium was formed and in 1997 it was established with the participation of international oil companies and the government of Turkmenistan. Considering that this pipeline passes through Afghanistan, it was necessary to cooperate with the Taliban. In this regard, the American ambassador in Pakistan also joined this project. However, due to the accusations against Osama bin Laden of terrorist assassination and the escalation of the crisis, the negotiations were stopped. In 2002, a new agreement was signed between Turkmenistan, Afghanistan, and Pakistan for the pipeline. But financial problems related to the cost of transit from Afghanistan to India and Pakistan stopped the project. For this reason, the cost structure of this transit was dependent on the India-Afghanistan contract. The pipeline construction project in Turkmenistan started in 2015 and was completed by 2019. This pipeline is designed with a diameter of 1,420 mm and a pressure of 1 million kPa and has an annual capacity of 33 billion cubic meters of gas, of which 5 billion cubic meters of gas are produced. It belongs to Afghanistan and the rest to Pakistan and India. The cost of the project was initially $7.6 billion, but recently increased to $10 billion. Turkmen Gas was the main partner of this project, and its construction is not finished yet. The 1,814 kilometers pipeline will run from the world's second largest gas field, the Galkanish Gas Field in Turkmenistan, through Afghanistan and Pakistan to India. In Afghanistan, the Tapi pipeline will be built along the Kandahar Herat Highway in western Afghanistan and then through Quetta and Multan in Pakistan. The final destination of this pipeline will be Fajilka in India and near the Pakistan India border. This pipeline passes through the provinces of Herat, Farah, Nimraz, Helmand, and Kandahar, and 816 kilometers out of a total of 1,814 kilometers is stretched in Afghanistan. TAPI Pipeline has the annual capacity to transfer 33 billion cubic meters of gas to Afghanistan, Pakistan, and India. Afghanistan, which has a transit role in this project, is also one of the buyers of imported gas. According to the agreement, Afghanistan bowed 3 billion cubic meters of gas from Turkmenistan in three decades. Along the TAPI Gas Pipeline route, five of which will be built in Afghanistan worth $1 billion. In this way, Herat is the first province that will make cheaper and wider use of imported energy. By exploiting the TAPI project, Afghanistan will get more than $400 million of gas transit rights every year. From an international point of view, the TAPI project has positive and significant effects for the expansion of regional cooperation between the countries of Central Asia and South Asia. And one of these cooperations is the opening of the corridor of cooperation in the energy, communication, and transportation sector between the countries of the region. And for Afghanistan, economically, politics and diplomacy are of special importance. When Afghanistan is mentioned at the global level, the only image that is created in the minds of others is war and terror. But with the implementation of the TAPI project, the economic importance of Afghanistan has been restored once again and will lead to internal peace and stability. Therefore, in the internal dimension, the implementation of this project will play an important role in the development of the country's economy by receiving millions of dollars in tolls, direct and indirect job creation, infrastructure establishment, and energy production. With the implementation of the said project, it is supposed to add more than $400 million to the national income and in addition to creating 4,000 direct jobs and thousands of indirect jobs. 
Afghanistan will receive 500 million cubic meters of gas in the first decade of the project, which will increase to 1 billion cubic meters in the second decade and 1.5 billion cubic meters in the third decade. Although the Taliban have expressed their desire to resume the work of large economic projects, including the project to transfer gas from Turkmenistan to India through Afghanistan and Pakistan, TAPI, experts do not believe that the work of this project will start soon. Economic experts consider the tension between India and Pakistan to be one of the factors that stopped the TAPI project, and say that until the differences between these two countries regarding the macroeconomic projects in Afghanistan are not resolved, it will be impossible to implement these projects. The Taliban are doing their best to implement macroeconomic projects, including TAPI, in order to provide work and economic growth in Afghanistan. Not long ago, a delegation from Turkmenistan went to Kabul and discussed the resumption of the TAPI project with the Taliban. The route of the TAPI project will also include a railway, a 500-kilowatt Turkmenistan power line, and optical fiber network. What do you think about this project? Feel free to share your opinions on this topic. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.